Do you wanna know how to figure out what theme another Shopify store is using within five seconds? I'm gonna show you how to do that. Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Zach, and if you're new to the channel, learn all the secrets of the e-commerce world simply by subscribing to my channel and hitting that little bell icon so you don't miss anything. And today, I'm bringing you a bit of a shorter, more simple video because as you've noticed, I'm not in my normal apartment. I'm actually back home because it's spring break, and so I'm living it up back home, and I'm actually going up to Oklahoma, so I'm gonna have a few videos filmed there. But yeah, we're just in a little bit of a different setting. It shouldn't affect anything. We're still gonna have a good time. I got a lot of videos planned, so. Real quick, what I'm just gonna show you guys is how to quickly find out what theme a Shopify store is using if they are using a uh, theme that has a name and I'll show you what I mean by that. So basically, I have three stores right here. Uh, Sugar and Cotton, Gekwo, and Possum Couture. These are just some websites that I found um, in like past videos and I'm just gonna show you how to quickly find what theme they're using. It's super, super simple. So. Uh, what you do need is you need Google Chrome, okay? And this will allow you to right click and have this inspect element feature right here, okay? So this is what you need. So all that you're gonna do is right click anywhere on the page, it doesn't really matter, and just go to inspect. And this is for inspect element. So as you can see, it'll bring up this little thing over here. And basically this shows the source code of the page. And basically all that you're going to be doing is searching for one specific part of this. And so you don't have to drag through and just look for um, the thing. No, what you can just do is make sure you click within this box, hit control F. And then what this is gonna do is bring up a little search bar. So all that you have to do within the search bar is type theme, okay? And boom, this actually came up right here. So as you can see, it came up with the highlighted theme, uh, colon, and then copy of Brooklyn. So that means Sugar and Cotton is using the theme Brooklyn. And it, it'll show different um, indicators for this, but you'll get a really good feel for actually what the theme is out of the jumbled mess of text that you're gonna be seeing here. Like if you don't understand HTML or CSS, um, it can be a little bit confusing, but pretty much it's just theme colon copy of Brooklyn. So I have the two other stores to show you um, some other examples of what you can possibly see. So that's really it. Just real quick, once again, um, you go to inspect, control F, type theme, and it'll come up. And there, there may be theme, there, so there's theme mentioned like nine other times in here. It might come up with one of these later ones. Just keep hitting it until, oh, here we go. Clothing store 21. Uh, so you just keep hitting it until you get to this section right here. So theme copy of Brooklyn, right? That's very easy. So that's all you need to find right there. So let's go over to Gekwo. We'll go to inspect element right here. And we're gonna do the same thing, control F, and then just type theme. And there you go, as you can see, limespot.storeinfo equals theme Brooklyn. Okay, so very, very simple. This store is using the Brooklyn theme as well. And I actually didn't plan that, that just happens to be it. And then we have Possum Couture. This is obviously a different um, theme. So we're just gonna go control F theme. And so we're searching through. As you can see, it didn't come up automatically, so we're just looking through a little bit more. And now here's the thing. Look at this. It doesn't have one, okay? And so basically, look, Shopify.theme equals and then name. So basically what this means is this is a custom theme. Either they edited it in their own way, they purchased it, they had it uh, commissioned. Either way, what this means is that they are not using a theme that is just readily available on the Shopify store, right? I have a theme that I purchased that's like a premium theme. Um, but it still shows the actual name of it. This is just a custom theme or something else, so you actually can't copy it. So if it come up, comes up with this, and you don't actually see a theme, no, it's not screwed up. All that happened is they just use, you know, a non-default theme or a non-Shopify theme like that. They had it custom made. So yeah, when you see that, that's what that means. Don't worry, but it's also kind of sucky because like, yeah, this is a good theme. I want to copy this, but you actually can't. Now, I, it, I believe this is just an edited theme because I have seen um, stuff like this with the lines coming in right there on other Shopify themes. So I can almost just guarantee this is a customized uh, pre-made theme, but yeah, it doesn't have a name on it. So it's a bit of a bummer, but what are you gonna do? So that's it guys. That's as easy as it is to find out what 
theme a Shopify store is using. Ridiculously simple, and it's also very helpful for if you like the theme, you can just go ahead and copy it. You know, it's all about copying great artists' steel and copy and whatever other crap there is out there. But I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to learn how to make a really high converting Shopify store and dropshipping business, I have a link to my course in the description below. I also have a link to a free 14 day Shopify trial down there. Hit that subscribe button right there. Check out those videos over there if you want to watch anything else that would be really helpful and I will see you guys in the next video.